I'm Brittany, this is Wei Ying, and welcome to Gay Watch, where we watch gay things. We finally get to meet Claudia. But before we do, um, I have a little just special note. I've been saying the name Marius over these past three episodes, and uh, that was incorrect. I said Marius, what I meant was Armand. So, I, I don't know where Marius came from. That just seems to be the name that I misremembered. So, instead of all those times I mentioned Marius, that was actually supposed to be an Armand thing. Pretty, um, pretty obvious. Pretty embarrassed. But we're going to skate right past that and start episode four to see... The beginnings, and possibly even more than that, because these episodes really like to tell a lot of story in less than an hour, of Claudia. Ha! Woo! Ha! Perfect chapter title! Lion King? It, it's not an article, it's a book. I mean, we can do a chapter in It's at there. least a book. I think you got a couple of books here. Perhaps this five. Is, this is. Oh, the tree. Some notion of hers. He was missing the natural world. Wait, 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 wait. The interior designer you hired was a sentimentalist. Have you seen this interior design? Especially of this room in particular. It is a gray box. It is a very well put together, beautiful gray box, but it is a gray stone, hard edged box. She puts one tree, admittedly beautiful, in the room, and she's a sentimentalist. Hilarious. You are getting access to very precious items from the. Shut up. Are we about to read Claudia's journals? <gasps> Auntie told me to say Yes! Oh no, he's gonna do it. He's gonna resent him for it. At least at first. Oh my god, they're gonna have a kid to keep the marriage together. Ah! Oh. And then I tasted it. Oh, that shot is like right from the movie, man. Oh, oh, my, get, fe, yes. Looks like she takes out. Thank you for that. Tremendous. Hey, no, no, get back here, missy. God, the parenting is everything I ever wanted. You're a devil. Oh, shit! Phenomenous observation, my young lady, metabolism is permanent now. Oh, shit. Oh shit, that's right. Suck them like frog legs and burn them like trash. Ooh. I don't like so much anymore. <laughs> this was a slippery slope from innocence to Claudia. Married. Yes, it must. You're so married. The book is her friend. The book is a book. Good night. Good night. Night. Vampire family values. Oh my fucking god. I love all of this so much. See if it's, a good it's so soft. <laughs> so Something. Oh. Something right here. About everything's not right here, sir. Daddy Luke, so well me? spotted. Please? Lines of dialogue. Holy shit. I'm too overwhelmed. I can't even add anything. It's so good. It's so perfect. Oh. No. That's the sweetest fucking. Those two. How does it work? Love between two men. 
You're gonna have to talk about it sometime, Louie. First light love. You have a let go? Sometimes his kills get what's the word? Um, um uh get. There we go. That's a like kind it. way to put it. The casting for her was so spot on brilliant. I think somebody mentioned that she's 19, but she does not look 19. She looks like 15. I could see you trying to get away with 14, but she does not look 19. Especially, you know, you give her the curls, you give her the bows, you know, you, you try to make her look younger and she indeed, in addition to just her facial features, does not look 19. For a killing machine, I kind of like her. You know? I what a perfect subtitle for Claudia. Mosey. I didn't know he had a mama till he lost his mama. I was thinking, I was like, is it his mom? Oh no, that's terrible. You forget what I did to that door, Grace? You should measure yourself. That's so sad to watch their relationship turn into this. It is. I'm not here to do math. Well, addition mostly. Oh, the bending over. Classy Lestat. We love a man with class. You all right? You look a little sick there. Uh huh. Yeah, I know a meet you when I see one. I got so scared of. Sorry. His name is Charlie. Oh God. Oh Jesus. Oh man. Oh, I'm so sorry, Charlie. Oh no. Yeah. Our, our cute little vampire daughter is very hormonally in love. Interesting how she isn't reading his mind. She's frighteningly, terrifyingly, amazingly good. You know, there really are parts of her that take after Lestat. She would like to lose her virginity now, please. You know, she was already fucked up before. Because sooner or later, they end up dead. There were probably easier ways to communicate that lesson, Lestat. I don't know. That's just a theory I have. And Frank meets Stephen King. You know, actually, that's a very apt description. And if you were to come across their diary and learn. In detail, how and when you failed them. Ooh, would yeah. Would you share those failures, Claudia, with a band aid for a shitty marriage? I mean, I said it earlier, but I mean, you you're say? saying it to his face. She can stay in the same flat chested, hairless crotch, 14 yeah. year old baby doll. Here we go. Mind and spirit turns fine. And how do I know that? I think you might be lying to your diary. And that's how Claudia started self-harming. Woo! I said, the show likes to tell a lot within its hour. And not even that. Within 40 minutes. So who the hell knows how far we were going to get with Claudia in a single episode. And it turns out the answer is pretty damn far. That was a packed hour that once again did not feel rushed in the slightest. The structure of these episodes should absolutely be studied. I just can't. Everything. This show really. 
just came along and blew away all my expectations. And then through half of the season now, because that's where we're at at this point, has just maintained those blasted sky high expectations. How? Just how? It's so good. It's so good. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back next week with episode five of Interview with the Vampire. And please remember to take care of yourself.